Hi there, welcome to Elm Colors. I'm Erica. On today's video, I'm gonna be doing a quick flip through and a little bit of chatting about this new book, this new mythographic book, Wonderlust from Alessandra Fusi, I think is how you say it. Um, I haven't even looked at this yet, so I just got it in the mail, so we're gonna see, we're gonna see how, how it is. It is a little wonky, but I'm sure that that'll, that'll flatten out. So here we go. I'm excited. <laughs> I love, love new books. Okay. Ooh, that is pretty. Okay, so uh, there's the title page, just like every other. I think this is just going to be pretty similar to all your other mythographic books. But, oh. Oh, there's a pangolin. I love those little things. Uh, so what do we think about the hidden objects so far? I'm not even focusing on those, but I do see a couple that are a little wonky. But they're not terrible. So the line work on this artist is a lot thinner. Uh, which is lovely. It's pretty. It's not as dark black as the other books are as well. So I wonder if that would make it easier to cover up with, well, for me, I know because I don't like, yeah, see, that's annoying. There's a watering can in the middle of the tail. There's no reason for that. Mm -mm. That's an awesome picture, I like that. Okay, this is crazy. There's like, I don't even know if I can tell what's going on in this picture. Cause it looks like the horse's mane is a waterfall and there's a guy in there like going down the falls, but I don't know if that's supposed to be a <laughs> hidden object or if that's actually part of the illustration. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, these are these are some crazy. So it's like all of these Japanese houses and buildings are on top of the umbrella. And then there's koi fish and then there's lotus things and lily pads and like everything kind of stacked on top of one another. That one's neat. I like that one a lot space jellyfish. <laughs> Cute. Oh, that one's neat. Hmm. It's very interesting. I like this one. Yeah, this is a, a lot more intricate than some of the other books. Uh, these tiny little castles back here and little ships that are in the background back there with the dolphins and hmm, much more intricate, which can be a good thing. But yeah, if anyone is put off by intricate Im images, maybe these, I mean, mythographic books probably in general aren't for you then, but um, I like this one too. That's a cool one. I like all the bunnies and all the camping and equipment and different things. Some of this though is it is hard to tell what's the hidden object what's the hidden object and what's not. So I get that these are like little those little clear garden things, but I'm gonna guess that there's usually not a lollipop growing out of the middle of it. <laughs> But is the tent supposed to be there? So, I don't know. This one's crazy. Different spaceships. And then the giant gears in the background and then like a tree growing out of the moon, maybe? Yeah, this is just a... a 
I, I am in awe of people's imagination who can think of these things. I just, I can't do it. I like this one with the, the little under the water sea and a dome, or under the water city and a dome on top of the turtle. And then this looks like it's an upside down city in the background. Lots of little hidden objects. Oh, it's a red panda. That's so cute. And it's inside of a shattered something. I don't know what that is, but it's really pretty. I like this page. It's lovely. I like this one a lot. I think these are like seahorses, those really frilly seahorses. I don't know what these things are. Are those mushrooms maybe? Or maybe this is like a caravan wagon thing that's under the water. That's by the seahorses and maybe this is some kind of poorly growth thing. That one's cool. I like that one. Oh, that one's really cool. growing through it. Hmm. Giant bugs. That would freak me out. I don't like that face back there. <laughs> that one's creepy. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, I'm not sure how much I love these, but you know, I said that about the Enchanted Castles, too, and then I went back through and started coloring in it, and I loved it. So, we shall see. See, why? Why do you have to put a basketball goal in the middle of this beautiful picture? There's no point to that. That's a pretty cool one. That one makes sense to me. Some of these others are just out there. That one's really pretty. But again, the detail... This tiny, tiny little little guy there. That's cute. Yeah, I don't like these ones either. I don't. I don't care for the masks. That's kind of no. I'm sure somebody could do that page justice, but it won't be me. <laughs> These masks I don't mind. What's those other masks I don't like? Peacocks. A koala. And planets. And bubbles that look like planets. Moons? What are those little things? Marbles? I don't know. So it seems to like it, it's gone from Maybe it's just me that it went from like people and places to like animals with things on them. I don't know. That one's cool. Yeah, like you really have to look because there's like a little staircase up here that leads to the temple. And then the giant temple behind this giant leopard. Lemurs, space narwhals, <laughs> okie doke. Yeah, the background is is a little trippy, but I like that one. Hmm. 
Yeah, this might just be one of those ones where you just have to get started on them and see. Because like I said, they're the, especially that Enchanted Castles one, I was just like, mm, I don't like it. And then I started coloring it. I was like, oh, well, maybe I do like it. Yeah, still lots and lots of hidden objects for you to, well, for me to get mad at for anybody else who wants to color them to color. So, so yeah, so this is the all six of the books. Um, and then I have this one and I do have the new one um, that's supposed to be coming out, I think in January or February. I have that on pre-order too, so. Uh... Yeah, maybe I just, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna hold off on complete judgment <laughs> until I color a page and then we'll see, we'll see how I feel about it. Cause some of these, just looking at them gives me a little bit of, that's too much, but some of them I think will be cool. Like this one would be so cool. Look at all the lanterns in the background and yeah. So you just gotta just gotta get in and do it, right? Yep. Okay, so that was a flip through of a mythographic wonderlust by Alessandra Fusi. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that, and thanks so much for watching today. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.